Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. I went to the meeting point you indicated. I had an unexpected encounter there. Get to the facts. Who did you meet there? Madame de Polignac. She made no secret of her. So now I know all about the precious cargo that is the... Seigneur. What happened? That remains to be determined. The evidence points to an ambush. How? How? This ambush could not have taken place with... A plague on Orléans. That still remains to be seen. Three of them lost their lives. Excellent. I bet it was my... But why the hell haven't they... Re because they perished. I found their remains outside. The oh, no. No, but then... The children... We have no proof of this. In that case, there is not... We must get to the bottom of this and say... If there is still time. Oh, if I could get my hands on that rat Marat. Goodbye, Monsieur Le Marquis. Monsieur Necker. Madame? Eh bien, do you come bearing good news? Your wife. You may rest easy, Monsieur. Your wife escaped the massacre. She returned home and left you this letter. Mon Dieu. She's going to meet our daughter and son-in-law at our charity hospital. She may already be there. Madame, I did not dare to dream of such an outcome. My wife and daughter. Can you imagine? And I thought I had lost both of them. The three of us will be able to leave the kingdom and put these horrors behind us forever. What about the bombs? They are not in your possession. No, not yet. You must ensure they do not benefit the king, madame. You will find them in the Amois de Fer, in the Palais des Tuileries. Do with them as you see fit. As long as the king does not use them. As for me, I'm going to find my family at once. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I pray that your efforts will be successful. Adieu, madame. Adieu. Minister Necker has given his bonds to me. That's quite a nice little sum. Can you imagine? That's one-fifth of the kingdom's entire wealth. Wealth that the king squanders for his personal benefit according to his whims. Ma foi. Monsieur Necker certainly has been very generous to his adoptive country. Generous? <laughs> I have my doubts. The loan was granted at a very high rate. So high, in fact, that it would have dug the deficit into an even deeper state of abyss. Eh bien, monsieur. To what use shall we employ this boonful fortune? If I could spend it, I'd do everything I could to return to the people their confiscated freedom. To begin, I would get them the bread they so sorely need. It is only after the scourge of famine has been vanquished that armed patriots might then be able to rise up against despotism. And where will you find wheat, Robespierre? Will you steal it from under the noses of the automats who have sworn to destroy the human race? As for arming the people, this is another one of your delusions. How could your ragged pack of wretches win any sort of battle that be unable to lift a sword? When you insult the people, you insult me, Monsieur de Lafayette. I am not insulting anyone, Robespierre. But I happen to know what it takes to fight, unlike you. Monsieur, I was but a lad of 15 when I took up arms. And everyone here knows my role in the liberation of America from British rule. If you allow me to dispose of these bonds, I will found an army that will annihilate the Clockwork King's diabolical machines. As soon as I have the opportunity to leave Paris, I will rally the officers and troops that are stationed in the provinces. Then, I will call for a mass uprising. I will have more than enough money to pay their wages and procure the weapons we need. And you will have obedient troops at your beck and call, ready to repress anyone who challenges your power. These troops will only serve the will of the people. I swear it. Are you sure that the king has spared the rest of the kingdom, Monsieur le Marquis? I am almost certain of it, mon père. Despite all of his resources, the king does not have enough manpower to occupy all the garrisons in the country. Aegis, no member of this assembly can force your hand. The choice is yours. To whom will you entrust Monsieur Necker's bonds? The bonds are not yet in my possession. Then please continue your search. So how is Monsieur Marat? I haven't met him yet. 
He is your only chance to reach the Bastille Aegis. You must speak to him. He's holed up in the quarries of Montmartre, hiding from the Marquis de Lafayette. I have yet to procure Monsieur Necker's bonds. You don't intend to leave them to the king, do you? No. That is out of the question. That's good to hear. Quoi qu'il en soit. If you do manage to get them, come and find me. Were you present when the... Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. We laid bare before the king the abject misery of his subjects. So he had the people's representatives dispersed. At least we only had to contend with soldiers made of flesh and blood. Positively angelic compared to the mission. Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. Monsieur B. I have not yet found the vitriol. As I said. Goodbye, Monsieur B. Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? The clues I found at the warehouse suggest that the gunpowder was moved to the Bastille. Diable! You must find a way to get there and put an end to this threat. The clues I found at the Diable. Where can I obtain? I had some, but I can't tell you any more. You should ask. He uses. Goodbye, Monsieur Lavoisier. Did you go to the Hotel de Massiac? No. Remember. See you later, but. Monseigneur. What can I do for you, Aegis? Goodbye, Monseigneur. Allez en paix, Aegis. How is your research on Nicholas Fermel going? I have done nothing. Don't take too long. Don't forget that the tomb is in the... The church isn't far from the Hotel de Ville. Goodbye, mon père. Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening. I have not yet been able to get hold of... Please, don't give up. And do come...
Here I am at an impasse. Should I go to the Tuileries to examine the safe? There may be a way to force it open. I can get to the Tuileries Palace via the Louvre. Then I should be able to enter it through the courtyard.
So how is Monsieur Marat? I haven't met him yet. He is your only chance to reach the Bastille Aegis. He's holed up in the quarry. I have yet... You don't intend... No. That's good to hear. Quoi qu'il en soit. As for the lanterns... Did Monsieur de la Clos tell you the secret of his explosive cannonball? No. We didn't talk about it. That's a pity. Without his help, our... Let's see. I know he's close to Monsieur Marat, the patriotic journalist. He's currently in hiding in the quarries of Montmartre. But please, do not breathe a word of this to the Marquis de Lafayette. Those two are at daggers drawn. It would certainly end in a bloodbath. Goodbye, Monsieur de... Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? The clues I found at the warehouse. Diable. Goodbye, Monsieur Lavoisier. Monsieur B. Goodbye, Monsieur B. How is your research on Nicholas Vermeil? I don't take, don't forget that the church isn't. Goodbye, Mon Père. Monseigneur. What can I do for you? Goodbye, Monseigneur. Allez, on pit. 